Yo, 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 Mikuai Maria Davidovsky here, and welcome back to another video, my friend. Another request, another video. How to distinguish between intuition and logical mind? Let's get started, shall we? It's very easy. The intuition tells you to do something in the present moment. The mind will give you all sorts of reasons why you shouldn't do something. Or why you should do something because. This is the thing about intuition. Intuition is usually this very, very first thought that you have that tells you to do something or to say something. And then the mind activates and starts telling all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. You see? <clears throat> and the more you go down the path of reasoning that way, then the more you're pushing your intuition away. Your intuition is the first thing that comes to you, that impulse to do something or to say something, to be there. And usually it's not logical at all. It usually goes against all logic, depending on what level your intuition is and how open you are to God and how much faith you have and trust within yourself and within God. It's could be sometimes, okay, pack your bag and you're going to Philippines. It's like, well, uh, yep, <laughs> that could be your intuition, <laughs> you know? Not a whim, not a want. If you want something, you're sitting there wanting it. Intuition is an impulse for action. And then the mind activates and it tells you all the reasoning why you should do something or why you shouldn't do something or why you should do something else. First thought. Stay in the present moment. First thought, first action, the end. It's very easy. One might ask, how do you develop an intuition? Well, you can directly work with the third eye and cleanse the third eye and strengthen the third eye, cleanse your pineal gland, start drinking uh, water with lemon and avoid fluoride and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot but uh, intuition everybody has intuition basically and it's always working the only thing is you're choosing to reject it because you're too afraid of being yourself you're for you're afraid of the light that you are you're afraid of the power that this light has and therefore you're hiding away from it within the shadow and therefore, when your intuition comes and tells you to do something, you're like, but that would expose me as the light and I do not, I'm not worthy of the light or I shouldn't be the light or the light is too much or whatever, you know, many different games that you can play on that front. But you're enough, my friend. Perfectly fine. You have lived so many years. Have a look at that and you're still alive maybe not in perfect condition <laughs> but you made it through the thick and thin and you're here finding this video meaning that you are most definitely enough for the exploration of unity for getting your life together for mastering duality and moving into the space of unity and then beyond because unity on the level of the heart, this is something that a lot of people mistaken. When people move into their heart, they talk about unity and they think that's it. <laughs> well, there are three more chakras. Out of which one is still on, in, within the human body, but within these two, when you actually start to explore them on the, on the levels of awareness, you don't even have a body. You go beyond the body. And a lot of very interesting things happen. It's not that you sit down in meditation and you imagine things in your head where you're going through doors and stuff like that. No, 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 no. You take your body with you. And your body becomes a string of energy itself. And you weave that string of energy through various dimensions and corridors of existence. But we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> Intuition is located here, roughly, within the pineal gland. You could say it's your higher self or God speaking to you directly. 
Don't reject yourself, my friend. Accept yourself as you are. And you'll see the intuition is going to open up. Just don't let your critical part of yourself to judge you too much, to close you from the potential that you are, because you have infinite potential. You can attain absolutely anything. Peace be upon you, my friend. Bless, I bless you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Consider leaving a comment, maybe a like. See you in the next one. Bye.